Welcome back. Well, if you're interested in broadcasting, all you need is a broadcasting license from the Communications Authority of Kenya and the content. Then you contact a digital signal distributor to have your content aired across all parts of the country. Kenya Broadcasting Corporation Chief Technical Officer Nicholas Omodi says Signet, which distributes digital signal, has made it easy to broadcast and is supporting content creation in the country. Here is our senior reporter Regina Manyara with an exclusive interview that tracks digital migration inroads made so far. This is Prime Edition and I am Regina Manyara. Kenya embraced digital migration in 2009 and in 2015 we started implementation and broadcast on the digital platform. What inroads have been made since then. Joining us tonight is none other than Nicola Somondi, who is a Chief uh, Officer DVBT here at KBC to take us through that particular process. Thank you very much, Nick, for your time. Hi, Regina. And the big question in the room, if I had content today yes. and I wanted it to broadcast on a digital platform, how do I go about it? If um, first you've got to be registered as a broadcaster and the only person who does that is the Communications Authority of Kenya. You get registers, uh, registered as a broadcaster, you get a license, and from then on, it allows you now to broadcast on the digital platform. Now, you might want to choose either to go satellite, or you want to go terrestrial, or you might want to go cable television. But for us who in Signet, we do what is called terrestrial television, which is mean, which means basically over the land. You know, you have a small antenna on top of your on top of your house, and then you have your receiver, and you're able to receive the digital content that way. We broadcast from in Nairobi. We broadcast from Lemuru. So for you to become a broadcaster on the Signet platform, first you get licensed as a broadcaster. Once you're licensed uh, licensed as a, as a broadcaster. You can either choose either Signet or you go to Pan TV. Mm -hmm. If you come to Signet, then we will do what is called a service level agreement, which now allows us to have certain parameters of engagement so that we get into some kind of partnership. But the digital platform has made it very, very, very easy in that from the comfort of your home, you can actually be a TV, a TV station and you need very, very little gadgetry. Now, so long as you can bring the content that you have, you can bring it in various formats. So long as we have it here at Signet, we have equipment that is able to, to, deco uh, to, 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 to dec uh, encode and, you know, and just put it onto our system. So, so long as we have that content within Signet, then you are automatically a broadcaster. Now, before we get into the details, because uh, we need to also understand what type of content. Yes, they have gotten uh, the license uh, from the Communication Authority yes. of Kenya, mm -hmm. and there are two types of uh, licenses, commercial yeah. and religious. Yes. Over this span of time, what has been the uptake? Uh, how much are we you know, broadcasting on Signet? What type? Is it co commercial content or religious content? What is carrying the day? Um, the type of content that is basically between your end and the CAK. Your license will allow you to, you, when you get your license, it will give you the parameters of what you're supposed to, you're, 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 you're supposed to broadcast. And interestingly, most of our, 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 um, our, our clients, they actually cut across, you know, the both, the commercial, you know, and they do religious. It's not like community television, like you will say. Basically, they would like to go big if they could, you know. So they do everything, you know, within the confines. And uh, the, the, the content that they have is actually dictated by what they are able to produce wherever they are. Mm -hmm. Now, talking about content and your client, uh, for Signet, uh, would you say that uh, most of these clients are opting to be within the central business district or rather Nairobi and its environs, or are we having also persons who want their content broadcast across the country? In interestingly, Signet provides, you know, a wide range of products in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, transmission and in terms of reach. 
certain clients you know just choose to be in particular areas and signet has got what is called local insertion so you don't want to broadcast in nairobi but you want let's say to broadcast uh let's say just in meru only or you want to broadcast in kisumu only or you want to broadcast let's say in areas like nyandara only then you can actually uh, you, you, you can actually do that through what we call local insertion and actually there's been a lot of uptake on local insertion and we are encouraging more people who want to get into the broadcast business to actually go that way if they think that they don't want to go you know uh, uh, what we call nationally yeah so we have that and it has been very very well taken would you say it is actually more cheaper to have a targeted area or locality in which you know as a client you're targeting maybe you have a product yeah. and a content that appeals to a certain demographic that is domiciled within an area instead of you know uh, spreading uh, yourself across the country what that does is basically you have a niche audience yes which means they can actually uh, um, th 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 they're able to uh, uh, to identify with the kind of content that you are in terms of language in terms of maybe other other other, other parameters you know within the locality because you wouldn't talking you won't be talking about everything else you'll be talking about things and matters that concern the community so the people will within that lo uh, lo locality will actually identify with your kind of content mm -hmm. and so quite a number of our clients who have done the local insertion actually quite a number are actually doing content in the vernacular and the language of the regions you know that they are broadcasting in now I have come in as a client and I have this content I already know where I want to broadcast yes. at what point does KBC which runs Sig Signet decide on uh, you know the quality of content supposing for example yeah. my content is not palatable enough it's not watertight enough does the broadcaster have a say in regard they've gotten their license yet yes. but now can you switch me off on on, on on account of that you see if 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 your content goes beyond what you've been licensed to broadcast or your content let's say let's just call it maybe your content is explicit let's say for that reason then signet won't switch you off because it does not do that but the person who will be very very much concerned about content and the kind of uh, the 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 the, um, uh, the 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 details of your content really as it were would be the films the the Kenya film and censorship board so if your content is explicit or within those boundaries that you're not supposed to go for let's say family and whatever communities then basically they'll suggest that you switch yourself off or if you continue then they'll actually ask us to switch you off uh -huh. Uh -huh, good yeah. so you're working in partnership with other authorities like the communication authority of yeah, kenya as well as the fields board yes. to ensure that whatever content is actually broadcast on this particular platform yes. is watertight right uh -huh. have you had any situation over the years where you were actually uh, asked to switch a client off <laughs> fortunately we have not had had that kind of situation because most of our clients basically if they were to do um, uh, uh, programs that uh, maybe have got adult content mostly they'll be doing it maybe later on in the night either movies or things like that but otherwise we've never had a situation like that the only time that we get to switch a client off is when they go against you know our set you know the, um, what, what I call the SLA when they don't maybe honor their payments and things like that okay. then we are forced to switch you off until you you pay yeah. digital migration was uh, you know pegged to you know bring out opportunities you know right. in as far as broadcast a film the larger entertainment industry so to speak right has it met that obli uh, objective i think it has met that objective only that maybe most of our clients didn't look beyond maybe the content that they had at the time because what sells on the platform is basically the content you know however good however expansive the uh, infrastructure is people will only watch your channel if you've got content that is appealing and so this actually opens up you know the space for content creators just to go you know way way beyond and do good content because 
though space now, the digital space, is extremely wide and it's very, very big. It's insatiable, actually. So if, um, if you, you do good content, basically you have the audience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then the commercial viability of the Kenya Broadcasting Corporation, given that this is where, you know, Signet is domiciled. Right. Yeah. Was it a worth it investment and is it paying for? I think it is. It is a very, very worthwhile investment because at the moment, if you're talking about uh, maybe 120 clients, each of them are paying client and then we're talking about close to almost um, almost 50 you know other clients you know within the small regions and all of them paying either quarterly or on a monthly monthly level i think uh, signet basically is doing just what it was meant to do mm -hmm. yeah how can we leverage on this you know uh, right now we're, we're, we're looking at uh, you know business in terms of making it profits and such right. how can we tighten up mm -hmm. and ensure that signet actually carries the day the uh, signet needs to be expanded it needs to take in additional products it needs to give you know the client you know might might more value for money not just terrestrial broadcasting if Signet could actually do uh, things like direct to home television, which is DTH, you know, do satellite so that you can actually be able to receive Signet content, content wherever you are within the region, that would be an addition. Then there is handheld, you know, phone being able to have all the co uh, Signet content on your phone, you know, digital on the go, that would be awesome. Yeah. And be able to encourage, you know, uh, content creators to do what we call over the top, you know, the likes of Netflix. I know we have things like View Sasa, etc. But if Signet could actually create, you know, avenues for the clients to be able to choose from these products, then I think that would be an added advantage in terms of maybe revenue, and of course in terms of um, in terms of uh, giving more value to the content for, the, for, 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 for our clients. What recommendations would you have, you know, to have all this uh, particular diversity in the Signet portfolio uh, to rake in more revenue? I know Signet being part of Kenya Broadcasting Corporation, it simply means everything that comes into Signet is actually part of the whole corporation. So if there was um, a substantial amount, you know, that is remitted back, you know, to, uh, to, 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 to expand the plant, platform on a regular basis then that would be awesome yeah i'm imagining someone watching a content creator who has content and has been wondering how do i get it onto this platform signet is here yeah. how much are we looking at on a monthly basis on a monthly or basis. what informs how much a client pays all right i want to make a small comparison here initially for the major tv broadcasters the kind of infrastructure they had to put up cost huge amount of money we're talking about millions you know to be able to do yeah the likes of you know when kbc in the in the analog in the analog realm we'll be talking about millions for you to set yourself up as a broadcaster you will need something like about not less than 200 million for the infrastructure for your studios for your for your uh, for your programming etc etc but with the digital uh, terrestrial infrastructure as it were at the moment for local insertion we do 70,000 shillings per month for the countrywide uh, broadcast we do 1.8 1.8 million so if you want to be on our platform and you want your content to go throughout the whole country then we charge uh, an amount of one, uh, one, 1 1.8 million shillings Mm -hmm. that is monthly now we have certain packages that allow you also still to broadcast within certain regions yeah we have certain packages depending on the regions that you want specifically want to go yeah and we have all this catalog nicely and properly for the consumer to choose from really no i, I mean for for our clients to choose from is signet partnering with anyone else we will be looking to, and if there are people there who actually want to do uh, 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 w w what would call um, uh, niche, ni uh, okay, in a niche programming or having content, you know, that they want specifically maybe pay channels within Signet, it's still possible to have that. But 
the, the, we've had a few, a few, a few clients who wanted to do that, to have maybe specific content, their own content within the, the Signet platform that actually go as, that go out as a package for, uh, let's say, a particular, a particular, a particular, a, 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 a particular channel, several, uh, several, oh no, several TV channels, and maybe for pay TV purposes. Yeah, we've had, we've had um, inquiries on that and we'll be very, very much willing, you know, to partner with anybody who's able to, 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 to go that direction. In conclusion, Nick, what is the future of Signet? Um, I know the digital platforms, several di digital platforms are there and the competition for content really, consumption is very, very high. The traditional way of watching television is changing day by day. But the good thing is that, as at the moment, our experience is that for Signet, most of our clients, you know, they have their niche clientele, yeah? The only thing that we could do is maybe expand the platforms through which they can consume the Signet content. But as it were at the moment, it will take a while before the complete idea of the traditional way of watching television com I I is completely eroded. So in the moment, I will say, Signet needs just to diversify the content that comes on its platform to be able to expand the base under which the content can be consumed. Otherwise, digital as it is, terrestrial television, a very, very good idea it can be expanded for the next couple of years, but as if, even as we're doing that, we need to diversify on how the content on our platform is consumed. So I will say the digital future for Signet is still very bright. We just have to seize the opportunities and to make the best that we can out of it. Very well said, and we ended point. We were looking to have your content broadcast on this particular digital platform. This is Signet. Well, Signet is open for business. I'm Regina Manyara. You've been watching Prime Edition on KBC Channel 1.